Hello everyone, this is Justin from Tame Type 1, and today it's July 4th, America's favorite holiday, and what's more American than giving you some new innovations in diabetes management? I've made a few inventions that can make it so reusing syringes can be done safely without risking polymerizing the whole vial of insulin, and perhaps more conveniently too. And I'm going to go over one of them right now. So this is a syringe right here. And um, the problem with using syringes for corrections, for example, if you're like me, is that you might need just one unit or just a half a unit. And if you don't reuse syringes, like I try not to, because it is risky to reuse syringes, um, it might cloud up your insulin, then you're gonna end up throwing away a lot of syringes because you might need sometimes multiple corrections in a day. And that cost can not only add up, but it's also a lot of waste, and I don't like being wasteful. So what can we do to reuse a syringe without needing to put it back in the vial and risking clouding up your insulin? Here's one solution. Here is the new, here is the invention I'm talking about. Just one though, by the way, I actually have more than one, but we're just making this one for this specific one. This is basically a chain link that I got from Home Depot with a bunch of little wooden chips that I laser cut from paper, uh, from paper plates with little numbers on them. These numbers correspond with units of insulin, at least where the notches are. So for example, at the five unit mark, what would happen is that this plunger here would stop at the five unit mark. And I can just, let me show you what that looks like. So you stick it in right here, you push it down, and then check that out. It is exactly five units, right? So when it's at five, that means it's going to stop at five units. Let's say you want to just take a half unit correction or you need a, a whole unit correction. Let's say we just want a whole unit correction. What we'll do is we'll take this down to four as shown here. We'll take it down to four and then we'll put our plunger back in like so. Stick it in yourself, press down, pull it out and look at that. You're gonna get exactly four units. Let me give you another example. Let's say you're at five units right now and you want two and a half units. So what you do is you take it down, that's two and three quarters, to two and a half units, marked like that. You'd line these up, put your plunger in like so. You press down in your belly or wherever you shoot and bada bing, bada boom, two and a half units is left meaning you took exactly two and a half units. It's a pretty cool invention. I like it a lot. I actually even have a better one coming up, but I'll get to that in another video. This way, you can fill your syringe up to five units at a time, and you can use it five or 10 times before needing to put it back in the vial and getting more insulin out. And that way you don't have to do it at all. You can just reuse the syringe a few times, and once it's down at zero, you can throw it out and get a new syringe. This can save a ton on the amount of syringes you can use. Instead of using one syringe per correction, you can use maybe one syringe for every five or 10 corrections, especially if you're like me and you often only need a little bit, like a half unit or a full unit or even a quarter unit. And I mentioned quarter units because this actually is measured in quarter units. As you see, it's five, and then 4.3 for four, three, four and three quarters, 4.2 for four and a half, 4.1 right there for four and one quarter, four, three and a half, and so on and so forth, all the way down to zero. So you can actually get a lot of use out of this little thing. Unfortunately, you cannot make it yourself. Um, if you ask me nicely, I'll consider making one for you, or maybe I should, perhaps I should start making and selling these, who knows? but um, it seems to work pretty well. I will say it's not um, always completely synced up with the syringe because sometimes, you know, the markings on the syringe are slightly higher or slightly lower than they should be. 
But in general, that works pretty well. And in general, each of these individual tips is almost exactly a quarter of a unit in length. Might be a little more than 0.25, might be 0.27, but it's still close enough to basically give you a quarter of a unit, half unit, full unit, whatever, as much as you need, whatever you need consistently. And you'll be able to reuse the syringe multiple times in a row. So that is my invention for you. I have another one coming up. Um, if you're interested in learning more about it or interested in uh, maybe getting one, send me a message and uh, we can talk about it. But that's all for now, guys. Keep taking your type 1. Keep using new and inventive ways to manage your diabetes. And I'll see you next time.